You want to start opening soon? Um, yeah, I'll, let me just say something real quick about the guys in our locker room. What a resilient group. Um, we have some great young men in there who came together at a high level these last few days in, in a way that I don't know that any of us fully anticipated a, that level we could get to in a short amount of time, but they deserve so much credit. I am so very happy for them and proud of them. And I just, you know, I wanted to start with that. I, I'm two things. I, let me have one more thing. Two, two things. <laughs> one, two things happened in the last few days that just really helped me. One was a conversation with Holt couple nights ago that um, it just gave me kind of a, a confidence in, in him talking to me and, and I, I'm not going to get into any details of the conversation but that was really helpful for me and I'm, I'm so thankful for that conversation I'm just I'm so thankful to, to, to God to give me the, the peace and and just um, the comfort to fill into this this seat in, in what's been a challenging few days so outside of that we'll go uh, go questions. Uh, Jake, just from your standpoint, I mean, you talked about on Friday how you thought the first day of practice in this new situation was a positive day and you thought some things had been accomplished and I mean, to do so much in such a compacted amount of time and just to have everybody buy in, just, I don't know, what, what's your feeling about the way that, that everybody in your group came together to, to manifest this today? Yeah, I told our guys before we, not, we went out, let's play how we've practiced the last few days. There was a, there was a great sense of urgency and pace to what we were doing. Um, but I think you have to credit the leadership of our team. You have to credit our staff. And just this was, we've talked about family for three days. We've talked about how important that is. And I felt like we came together. We were a true family. We played like it. We coached like it. So uh, I think those two things, our staff and, and our, our players, the leadership of our players were critical, Steve. Coach Diebler back here. It looked like you were getting emotional there at the end after the win. What was kind of don't, going through your mind? I'm trying, I don't want to get emotional right now. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I was, I just, I, I had to take a moment just to, just to thank God for, just, just to thank God there after the game. And um, that made me emotional. Then, then going through the line, I was, I was fighting it, I was fighting it. And then my wife made it to the court and then my parents, and it was, that, it was trouble after that. I couldn't keep it in anymore. So, um, yeah, but I don't want to get too into those details because I will get emotional again. What was, what was the difference today in your eyes than, than maybe some of these recent games? Obviously, you have a lead. Purdue starts to cut into it. There's the chance to, to maybe have some of those same demons, but you guys don't. What, what was different? We've talked about for, for three days of putting ourselves in, pos in the position you're talking about where you know we have a lead down the stretch, and the motto all week has been stay aggressive and keep swinging. Um, <laughs> I told Roddy Gale after the game, I got no problem with you taking that three because you were open, you're a good player. Like, step up and swing and knock it down next time. And I think that mentality, you know, was our, our guys embraced that. And obviously, listen, Jamison Battle was clutched on the stretch, Bruce Thornton hitting free throws. Um, I wish I could say, like, it's just some miraculous coaching at that point, but good players stepped up. And I think the big, the biggest thing was just the collective mentality of, of, of our family out there was we were going to stay aggressive the whole game no matter what. Bruce pointed to that three as well as uh, if he makes it, what happens then? He's okay with, with that being taken. How much is that the fine margins of this season where sometimes those threes don't go down? Today it didn't matter, but in some games it has. Is, is that just like what college basketball is, and especially in the Big Ten? In this league, the margins are so small so small and that's why <clears throat> you know each day we're going to keep fighting to have a, a, a mentality um, moving forward and I hope we make all those the the, the rest of the season if we don't like we're going to stay aggressive we're going to we're going to keep swinging we were you know I was really really proud of just our aggressiveness defensively uh, I thought that was really good but that's just kind of how we we just want to be about 
that, that, that mentality moving forward. Jake, congrats on the win. Thank Bruce you. said after the first media timeout, your hands were shaking. What was going through your mind in the first five, ten minutes of the game? Yeah, um, I'm tired right now. I feel like I like coached really probably too hard in a couple instances, but you know, one of the guys on our staff comes up to me. He's like, are you okay? I'm like, yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. He's like, well, you look a little flushed. I'm like, well, I'm hot and I've been coaching hard, you know, but I was nervous going into this game. There's, you know, be as, just full transparency. I was nervous. Absolutely. Um, but advice from, from, you know, all the people that have reached out to me, including Gene, has been like, you got to be yourself. And so I just tried to stay true to that. And um, that was, yeah, he's probably right. And no, I was, my hands were shaking. I'll try and maybe hide that a little bit better next time. Just another one for you about Bruce. Um, he and Lance were really going out a lot in the first half on the uh, offensive and defensive end. What do you have to say to Bruce's uh, offense? I mean, attacking Lance, and he's such a great a perimeter defender. I thought Bruce had some huge buckets for us in the second half. I don't, I don't exactly know the, the timing and, and the uh, and the score or was it after you know a specific thing Purdue did, but I was really Im impressed with his just mentality, and I felt like he was not going to let us lose, and that's what you want in in a point guard, and and it certainly that wasn't exclusive to him. We had like it was just collectively, guys were so in, in invested into doing their job at a high level to help this team, and we're going to lean into that. You know, uh, starting on practice here, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Uh, Jake, the rotation. I think it was 11 deep in the first half. Bruce was mentioning it's just gonna be high, high tempo, high intensity. You're gonna need a lot of guys, energy-wise. Uh, what gave you the confidence to go? At one point, there was three freshmen in, two sophomores in. Where was your confidence in those young guys in a, in a key moment at the end of the first half? Yeah, that was um, <clears throat> give you some insight into the dialogue on the bench. I don't know that that was the the most well received uh, lineup of the first half, but and I, I'm not necessarily sure that in the game I was thinking through that. You know, the the age of guys. We've we've had a great deal of experience. You know, up to this point in the season, and I think I think you have to learn to lean into that. Certainly, you know, the youth of this team has been well documented, but we believe. Like we believe in the guys in the locker room, and one of the things we really wanted to do was get guys to like just exhaust themselves on the court. And we had felt like we had more guys than than I can ever remember. You know, kind of like, coach, I need one. And I I thought that was we'll we'll talk about that as a team. I thought that was really fun to see, and and guys stepped up even if it was, you know, Austin Parks in his limited minutes, but had a had a huge bucket. So it was it was a lot of fun. And a veteran, Zed Key, uh, Bruce said that was the best defense he's ever seen him play. Um, his effort today against Zach Eady, Coach Painter said that's something that Eady's not had trouble with this year in terms of keeping the ball. Was that something you guys went in with the game plan? Was that something that Zed just did, swiping the ball away as many times as he did? What was your kind of reaction to that? Zed, I'll say this, Zed and I had a conversation, and, and he deserves a ton of credit because he followed through with everything he said in that conversation. So that was... I think it speaks to just kind of who he is. Um, we didn't say Zed every time Zach Eady goes up for a shot to, to swipe down. That was a that was a feel thing I think for him, and he's done that you know throughout his career. You probably probably remember some plays that he's been able to do that. So uh, it was it's just some some huge huge plays. Huge. It was great for us to be able to get out and, and help us get out into transition more. So it was it was great by Zed. Jake, congrats. Um, Thank how you. much you, you said with Bruce, it was just like he wasn't going to let you lose. And when we talked to Painter a few minutes ago, he said that this score would have been the same whether you were coaching or whether Chris was coaching. How much of the difference in this is maybe something like that, where Bruce, you saw it in Bruce, he wasn't going to let you lose? Yeah, listen, getting that out of guys. Our, our, our players stepped up down the stretch when they made a run. I can't remember how close they cut it. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Um, I just, the collective mentality of our group, I thought, and just staying aggressive, staying in the moment was, was the difference. And Bruce led that. Bruce and Jameson led that for us. 
what is the challenge of getting that consistently? Because obviously, maybe some of that has, has waned from, from here to there. What, what is the challenge now with what you have left in the season of trying to get that same mindset and that same, I guess, collective attitude going forward? We have to practice that way. We have, we have, to, we have to practice that way and practice with a sense of urgency that we, we have the last few days and, and keep doing that moving forward. Everybody kind of had their own emotional moment on the court, every player, every coach. But when you got back to the locker room, there's a lot of players that don't go through what this week has been. What was the collective message and what was that like to actually be able to celebrate with these guys? Yeah, it, it was just the, I think the thing that I remember most about the locker room, other than just being soaking wet, <laughs> was like just the different embraces and the, like the, the way guys just, they hugged me and I hugged them. and. Again, I, I got emotional in there just thinking about how proud I was of them. And this, like, this is all about them and serving them well and helping them finish this season well. And for them to buy into just the, the, the small tweaks we've tried to make in the last few days um, was, was really special. But I, I just... I just remember being being hugged by guys and, and just how like happy I was for them and how proud of them I was. And real quick, did you do anything different pregame? Any routine different as the head coach as opposed to as an assistant? I uh, I tried to keep things as as close to similar as possible. I wish I had another hour. I felt like the, the time before the game went faster today uh, than it than it had before, but. Listen, we, our staff, I just want to talk about our staff real quick. Like, they deserve as much credit as our players for just focusing on the task at hand and, and just, again, buying into some of the, the tweaks. And our, our defensive game plan was, was just phenomenal. Our, our offensive game plan was, was, was great. And, you know, I had comfort just kind of like knowing who was surrounding me and, and with me there. So it's, you know, they they don't get to sit up here. They probably should be here with me. Like, they deserve a ton of credit too. So between Felix and Zed, you know, one fouls out, one's got four. They're both real aggressive with Edie. But I think only maybe one or two of them were either on the shot. A lot of them were on the catch. Was that part of the plan was – if he gets close, be aggressive. If we put him at the line, we do, but we're not going to let him get open looks. If you pick up fouls, so be it, but no open looks. Yeah, we, we tried to front him more than we have in the past, and we got you know we got some calls. We were, we were tangled up a little bit. We tried to be really physical with him, and certainly got some some calls against that. And you know, it's it's really hard what we asked Felix and Zed to do, and then Felix to have the the foul trouble he did and have to like kind of get him out and get him back in and, and really no rhythm. I thought he just, he kept trying to do his job at a high level. So, you know, you, you may look at your, the stat line and say like, oh, Felix, like what? No, he was really, really important. And I think him just trying and battling and it's almost like, you know, you, you just you just keep coming and, and Zach Eady hopefully f just felt it a little bit more from a standpoint of we were able to wear him down with the physicality and putting uh, different guys on. So then you, you go on the road next, which has been tough lately. How, how do you build on a big win like this now going on the road later this week? Yeah, I think it's like, like I said earlier, we have to practice well. We have to, we have to maintain the same pace and urgency and practice that we've been able to do the last, last few days. And uh, we feel as a staff that's going to set us up to best, to best have success and in, in really in every game moving forward and certainly you know, we have to be ready for a good team on the road, two, two good teams on the road this week. I got we'll get three more in here. If we can limit it to one question. Jake, on Friday you talked about the importance of just being yourself. In what ways do you think you did that today? I think I coached with a lot of passion and just a lot of love for our guys. And, you know, that's, that's been ingrained in me from the time I, I just remember watching my dad coach when I was younger and just how hard he coached, but it was in a it was in a pretty positive way. And you know, I, I tried to have real dialogue with guys throughout the course of the game and um, there were times it was, you know, a little on the lighter side and times it wasn't. So I just 
I think the, the passion and, and, and energy, if I'm asking our guys to do that, I have to lead by example with that, and that's just, it's just who I am. You, you talked about, you know, ramping up the pace and kind of the tempo on the offensive end coming into this game, but it felt like the defensive intensity at times was what made a really big difference in this one for you guys. So 22 points off turnovers, and, you know, I, I think also a lot of contributions from not just Zed, but Evan down down yep. low there and Felix, yep. like you said. Just what, what, what stood out to you about the defensive effort and, and what was important in that, you know, these, these few days preparing for this game? Yeah, that aggressiveness that I talked about is, is for both sides of the ball. And... You know, the, the, the pace element that, that we've been talking about is just there, there's an urgency we want to operate with. And I felt like we were able to do that on both sides. Um, tried to mix in some pressure, you know, full court today. And listen, we had some guys like just individually step up and guard really hard. And, and I thought that was, that was important. But we, we want to be aggressive on, on both sides, certainly. Uh, Coach. It just seemed like the guys played more loose today. Just they were ur there was the urgency you talked about, but like Roddy coming down, taking that shot, not afraid to miss. Is there was there something there too? Just like hey, let's just go play ball, and we're going to do all the things we want to do, but let's just play ball and have fun. Was there some of that today too? I think we we prepared to win this game, and I, I told our guys uh, last night like we're going in this to win. And we're not going in this to be close. They they had earned the right to play well. And so I think that aggressive mentality, I told them in a couple timeouts, like, stay aggressive, keep swinging. And, you know, our staff, we kept echoing that. And I think it just as the game went on, they they believed. And, and you know, it's going to be important moving forward that we, we keep that same mentality. It's going to be certainly adversity moving forward in, in, in games and, and beyond, but we want to we want to keep that mentality. Jake, thanks. Thank you, Jake. Thanks guys. Yep.